is very interesting when we study history. A lot of people today, I don't, I don't think, understand that. But history of 2,000 years ago and further back, there are famous people, and we don't know when they were born. We, we just estimate and guesstimate. I'm talking about even Roman emperors, kings. We don't always know when exactly were they born. Sometimes it's just, just a guess, educated guess. Well, in the case of Jesus, we can do a little better than that. Because, uh, and it's mostly because of Herod the Great. And so Jesus was born near the end of Herod's life. The vast majority of scholars say Herod died in 4 BC. Jesus was born shortly before that in either 5 or 6 BC. And that's pretty well established. And when you think about it, an obscure carpenter growing up in a small village in Galilee, Nazareth, to actually know when he was born, that, that's pretty amazing. The Gospels are talking about real people, real events, real places that you can go visit now, that archaeologists can uncover and excavate, that historians can correlate and match up with other histories. The Gospel writers are very diligent to remind us that in the events of Jesus' conception and birth, many prophetic scriptures from the Hebrew Bible are fulfilled. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, is fulfilled when Mary conceives. The promise to David of a king who would inherit his throne from 2 Samuel chapter 7 is fulfilled in Jesus. I think if I had to see anything that is prophetic in the Hebrew Bible that is the most central to me, having to do with Jesus, it would actually be to turn to Isaiah 52 to 53 which is the passage that we call the suffering servant and talks about how the one sent by God will suffer for the sake of his people and lay down his life. He will justify them from their sins and his death will provide healing for them. And I think that the gospels, although it's not part of the infancy narratives, the gospels spend more time reminding us of that passage of scripture from Isaiah 52 to 53 than of any other passage.